What is up, Best Ones Worldwide? It's the Best One Donnie here, back with a brand new haul video. We got a lot of things to show you guys. If you're not a Best One yet already, and you want to watch me rebuild my collection, and you're into wrestling figures, recommend you to hit that subscribe button now, turn on the post notifications, because of course you already know, the grind is real. And before I show you guys all the awesome things I picked up at the Big Event New York, if you want to go check out the entire Big Event New York vlog, it is over on the We Are Wrestling YouTube channel. Such a great vlog, and I got the opportunity to meet lots of awesome We Are Wrestling Maniacs and Best Ones. So I do want to start this off by thanking all of you guys who came to me, came up to me, said hello, took a picture with me, and just had a conversation. I love interacting with you guys because you guys are the reason why I do this, and man, I am very excited to show you guys all the things that I picked up. So, with that being said, let's get it. Find So to start things off, I want to show you guys all the 8x10 photos that I picked up. There's a lot of things, so I am going to try to go as fast as possible. I'm sure this video is definitely going to be 30 minutes or more, because I did pick up a lot of awesome things while I was out here. And one thing I love to get is 8x10s of the wrestlers I meet. Just something I've always done throughout my life. And... Starting things off here, I do have my pro photo op with Stacy Cabler. Absolutely love the way this picture came out. And before I actually got this picture with her, like I was ready to take the picture quick because it seemed like they were like trying to rush through these pictures. She stopped me and asked for my name, asked what my name was, and shook my hand, which I thought was really freaking cool. She shook my hand. And now let's show you guys all the 8x10. So of course, we got Mickey James. I met her several times, but we do got her with the WWE Divas Championship. Because the only 8x10 I do have of her is a TNA one. I never got a WWE one, so now we finally can check that off the bucket list. Let's see here. Next, we got Kevin Von Erich right here. And I don't know why I didn't get this personalized. I should have. But this, I thought, was definitely the nicest picture of him. So that's the one I went with because they had a lot of, like, Iron Claw stuff. And, yeah, I really just wanted something for, like, his career. And I think that's his Hall of Fame picture. And moving on now to our next photo, we got Charles Mason. He's known for GCW. And, oh, man, I love how he stayed in full character. He wrote to Don, fuck you, fat ass, and signed it. I think it's absolutely awesome when guys can stay in character. I love Kayfabe, and this guy, he's got a bright future. And I don't know, I might have to choke him next time I see him. But moving on, we do have Mother Wayne. Look at that, we got Mother Wayne's signature here. Love this 8x10 photo of her. I'm so mad they didn't have Christian Cage. But we also got her son, Nick Wayne, which I met him at a GCW show, and... My 8x10 I got signed at the end of the show was a little too big for my new book, which I probably will make a video eventually showing you guys all that cool stuff. So I finally got an updated 8x10, and I love the run he's on. Let's see. Also, we got AEW star Serena Deeb. Love her work. I think she's very underrated, and she was just super nice when I got the opportunity to talk to her. Like, she was just very, like, open and... Talked to me for quite a while, which was pretty cool. And another AEW guy we got. We got Luchasaurus. We got Kill Switch. This right here is definitely one of the worst signatures, in my opinion. <laughs> Just looks like a little scribble, but 
Definitely a really cool one. I really didn't like that Knicks jersey he was wearing because obviously I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan. But it is what it is. And somebody that I really have been wanting to meet for a while, we met Chuck Palumbo. And I went with the Billy and Chuck because I love that tag team. So eventually I'm going to have to get the sign by Billy Gunn when I meet him for like the hundredth time. <laughs> And moving on now to our next guy, we got Mustafa Ali here in Ali We Trust. I just went with this picture, it looked really cool. This is from his time with Retribution. And this guy, I didn't even know he was going to be there, and I was very excited about meeting him. Top Dollar, AJ Francis. Big fan of his work, I don't know why he gets a lot of hate in the wrestling community. I think what he's doing is fantastic. And, of course, I had to meet the Innervator of Violence, Tommy Dreamer. Went with this 8x10 of him, just choking Raven out with the freaking barbed wire. Absolutely love that for Tommy. And another person I got the opportunity to meet, we got the Queen of Extreme, Francine. And I just love the way that this looks right here with the ECW Heavyweight Championship. And I'm going to be seeing her at the Wrestling Classic this weekend on the 23rd so i definitely really happy i was able to get that signed moving on we got mad cat moss ridden moss and i really might have to get this guy on the we are wrestling podcast at some some point because it was just great talking to him and i've been a big fan of his work going all the way back to nxt with him and savvy which, that was the question I asked him. If you did check out the vlog, highly recommend it. And another person I got the opportunity to meet. This one, I was very excited. I got to meet JoJo. She was a part of Total Divas. And she is Bray Wyatt's wife. And, of course, my meet and greet experience with her, I didn't want to record because... I wanted to, you know, share my experience meeting Bray, and obviously I wanted to send my love, my condolences to her and her family for the tragic loss of Wyndham, because not only did it affect all of us in the wrestling community, it also affected her, their children, and just their loved ones, so... I really wanted to send my love to her, and she was just so... She was just really, really nice. Very nice. Next person we got to meet, Perry Saturn. And I do want to share a quick story on this one because he gets a lot of hate. Like, when I watch videos of, like, people's meet and greet experiences, a lot of people say that Perry Saturn's a dick. I think the complete opposite. He was wicked cool to me. And we actually talked for a little while. Very nice guy. And it seemed like he wanted to be there. So I'm actually really happy that I had a good meet and greet experience with Saturn. So that was pretty cool. And another guy we got the opportunity to meet, the man with a thousand holds, Dean Malenko. And I asked him to write to Don, but he just signed it anyways. That's all I'm going to say about that. But I always love Dean Malenko, one of the best technician wrestlers of all time. And the next 8x10 we have here, oh man, we got Stacy Cabler, very excited about this one, and I actually got it personalized, I was very surprised I was able to do that because her line was crazy, but we do have this finally, and I'm definitely going to have to display that one, she was just wicked nice, very cool. And moving on now to our next person we got the opportunity to meet. We met Dana Brooke, Ash by Elegance, and she was wicked nice. And I actually talked to her for quite a while, and the meet and greet experience was a 10 out of 10 with her. She was just so cool, so down to earth, and honestly, like, I might have to bring her on the We Are Wrestling podcast at some point. Because it was just, it was so cool. It was just nice, casual conversation. And she was just wicked cool. And I also got the opportunity to meet former NXT star in WWE, Amari, Amari Miller. And she was also really nice as well. I can't wait to see what she does now outside of WWE now that her ACL is healed up. Another person we got to meet. Nydia, she was Jamie Noble's valet, 
And she also won season one of Tough Enough with Maven. This was a really cool experience. She was very nice. So I'm very happy to have that. I feel like, man, if they had Jamie Noble with her, that would have been perfect. That would have been such an awesome, like, dual photo to get with them. And moving on now to the next person we got to meet, Don Murray. And I'm very excited about that because, obviously, I grew up with the Attitude Era, but Ruthless Aggression is where I really became a maniac. And Don Marie, she was very entertaining during her time. And my last 8x10 that we got here signed, we got Sun Sony Anoko. I really can't pronounce his name, but he was actually super nice. And if I ever do get the opportunity to meet Ulti Ultimate Ultimo Dragon, definitely going to be getting this signed by him. But those were all the 8x10s that I got signed at the big event in New York. Now, let's get into some of the memorabilia, some of the wrestling figures that I got signed because we got a lot of them. We got a whole wagon filled of them. So, starting things off, we got this really cool old school Raw magazine. And we got this signed by both Stacy Cabler and Tori Wilson. And... The reason why I decided to get this signed was because with Stacey Cabler, I knew this was a rare opportunity to meet her, so I purchased the VIP package, which included four autographs. I wanted to get a bang for my buck, and I was looking for something to get signed. Tori was there, Stacey was there, so why not get something with both of them on it? And we also did get this um, PSA as well so that's also really cool and i just love the yellow paint marker on this it looks so good tori signed it with the yellow and then stacy i asked her to sign it with the yellow but she didn't have it so she asked her friend tori and she was able to sign it in yellow which i think just looks so freaking good very happy about that piece and i'm definitely going to be framing that let's see what else we got here Oh, man, we got a bag, and in this bag, we got a bunch of Lucy's. Oh, you guys already know how much I love the Lucy's, but before we get into that, one thing I found at one of the vendor's little store there, he had this really cool NWO baseball. I thought that this was really cool. I might actually display this with the NWO figures that I do have on my shelf there. I thought that that was wicked cool. And here's one of our first Lucy's we got here. You guys all know the Jack Pacific figures. I love it. I'm trying to get guys that I feel like WWE Mattel aren't going to make. Some of those miscellaneous underrated stars. And one of the guys that I've been asking Mattel to make for years is Test. And we got this figure right here looking great. And I remember this was a part of a two-pack with Stacey Gabler. So now all I need is Stacey Cabler to complete this, but such a great figure here. Test, such an underrated guy. Moving on now to our next figure here. This one definitely brings me back good memories. This is the first time I discovered Ringside Collectibles. This was in 2006. We got the Boogeyman here, Ruthless Aggression. And this was one of my favorite figures back in the day. I remember how hard it was to find this. And the very first time I discovered Ringside Collectibles on my computer on Internet Explorer, this was the first one that I asked my dad on Ringside, can I get this? So that just brings me back to so many memories. Even though I do have the Mattel Boogeyman, it's just a nostalgia thing. And moving on to our next person we got here. We got Paul Burchill as the pirate here, and I actually did get this from Blast from the Past, my original one, but it didn't have the jacket. This one came with the jacket, and it was a great price. So we picked up Paul Burchill there, and we know Mattel ain't going to make him. We don't even know what he's up to these days. And moving on now to our next guy we found... This is one of my favorite Ruthless Aggression figures. 
we got the Sandman ECW. Such a great figure. The only thing I do need is a Kendall stick. But I do think I have one in, like, one of my little bins. So, I definitely, for the most part, do have this completed. But for a Jack-specific figure, this Sandman was definitely one of the most realistic figures that they made. And very excited to add this Sandman to the collection. Finally... And let's see what other stuff we got in the bag of goodies. This one right here, I do have a funny story to share. We got the TNA Marvel Sting, which doesn't have really any of the accessories. And I only blame one person for that, and that is Brian Myers. Because when I went to the Wrestling Universe store during that toy hunt, which you guys could check out... He had the Sting out in the package for $100. I was going to buy it, but the owner said it was put to the side for Brian. So I'm stuck with this one. Thanks to you, Brian Myers. Thanks to you. But for now, it's all right. Definitely a good placeholder until I find the actual Sting with all the accessories. But man, TNA Marvel figures so underrated in my opinion. Glad to be collecting those again. And our last figure we have here. This one I feel like I never had in my original collection. We got the Bone Cruncher Kane figure. Which, man, this is so freaking sick. This is my favorite Kane. And very excited to add that to the collection there. Because my Bone Crunchers, I have really been stepping it up with those. But now let's get into some of the autograph stuff that I got. So here we go. And might as well get one of my big items out of the way. We got the Hardcore Championship. This is just probably one of the coolest items to get signed because anytime I get a wrestler to sign this who has previously won the title, they always have a story to share. I have so many awesome autographs on these. I might have to do a whole video breaking down some of the autographs on my replica championships. That's something you guys want. Smash that like button. But let's show you guys a couple of the autographs here, which it's hard because I got so many of them. But right here at the top, we got Perry Saturn. He signed it right there, which looks good. And then we got the Big Show, which is right here where my finger is. So, I wanted to get both of those for my Hardcore Championship. I love this Replica Championship so much, and I can't wait to get more signatures on it. Moving on now to the next figure we got here. We got a Storms Collectible Jushin Thunder Liger figure signed. And there were so many to choose from, but I went with this one in particular because... Back in 2016, I went to a Northeast Wrestling show, and I actually got to meet Jushin Thunder Liger at that show, and I watched him wrestle, and this was the gear that he wore, so that's why we decided to go with this one right here with the silver vest. I really do love this Jushin, and we got it signed and PSA'd, which usually when it comes to PSA and JSA and all that authentication stuff, I only get certain things authenticated because I don't know I think it's stupid but that's just me I know there's more value to it if you do it that way but moving on to our next figure we got we got WWE Elite 71 big show signed and this one I was trying to find for the longest time found it at MJ's. obviously opened it let it loose for my Attitude Era shelf, but now we finally got it in the package. Great condition, signed by the Big Show himself. Absolutely love this, so we're going to put that to the side. All right, moving on now to our next figure here. We got Penta in the gold. We got this signed. It was a part of AEW Unrivaled Series 6, and believe it or not, this had an older signature on it. Because when I met him at an indie show, he didn't have any paint markers. I forgot mine. So he signed it with a gold Sharpie. So I'm glad to finally have him right over it with the yellow paint marker. Looks so much better. But definitely a great figure. And another figure we got here signed. And this guy I've been waiting for. Last time I met him was 2018. 
we got Ray Phoenix AEW Unrivaled Series 6 here. Looking good with the yellow paint marker. Absolutely love this here. And we're going to put that right to the side. And... Of course, we got ourselves another Penta right here. Ben Penta Oscuro got this signed. One of my newer figures here, which, man, I love the white, the white paint marker. And I just love how simple his signature is. Absolutely do love that. Always looks good. And our next figure we got... We got the Ray Phoenix from Series 2. I already have my Penta signed from Series 2, but now we finally got Ray Phoenix to complete that. So I'm very excited about that. His very first figure, too. Our next figure we got here, we got another Ray Phoenix signed AEW Unmatched Series 7 with the blue, light blue paint marker, which I do really like a lot here on this Ray Phoenix. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. Which, man, Lucha Brothers, I spent so much money on them because I just have so many figures of them that I needed to, I needed to get signed. And, of course, we got Penta as well from Series 7. Looking really good. I just really need to meet Pac already, Pac Bastard, and get a couple of his figures signed so that I could have Death Triangle all together. But, man, I absolutely love these Penta and Ray Phoenix figures. Let's see here. Oh, cannot forget about these ones. So, we also got the AEW Supreme Series 3 Ray Phoenix signed right there. Looking really freaking good. I kind of like how the signature right there is on the side. Definitely something different, but man... These figures, the, all the Supreme figures are all, they're just hits. They're great. If there's one collection that I highly recommend getting into, it's definitely the Supreme ones. And of course, I had to get my buddy Penta as well. These are just incredible figures. Love the way that these figures just come out. And man, very excited to just have all the Lucha Brother figures all signed, all updated, so I'm very happy about that. I was able to accomplish that while I was away. Let's see here what else we got in the wagon. We also got the Acclaim 3-pack, and we only got one person signature, and that is Platinum Max. I do need to meet Billy Gunn and Anthony Bowens to complete this. But love this three pack. Have it mint on card, which right here. And we also do have the three loose as well. Put that to the side. Let's see. Whoop, our next AEW figure we got here. We got Luchasaurus. What a shitty signature. But finally happy to have this completed. I do like the green paint marker with this. So very excited about that that to the side and we also got to get these and put them right back in the bag these are the paint markers that i use and i try to bring them with me when i travel so that i can't run into a problem where oh shit i don't have my paint marker and then they're stuck with the sharpie and then i am totally fucked we can't do that so i try to keep them all in that sandwich bag because after what happened at the New England Fan Fest, that's why for now on I be bringing those everywhere I go. Let's see here. Our next figure we got here, we got the WWE Elite Series 69 Mustafa Ali figure signed. Looking great in the yellow gear. We just got this figure loose not that long ago. But I am still on the hunt for the Red Chase. I think I'm going to get that signed at an indie show that I go to. Because Mustafa is supposed to be going to Northeast Wrestling the end of April. So I might actually meet him again at that event. Who knows? But love that figure right there. And moving on now to our next figure. We got Stacy Cabler's WWE Legends Series 15. And I can't believe how hard it was to find one of these figures in perfect condition. I went on eBay, I bought one, it was totally damaged, had to return it, spend a few extra bucks on this one, and I am very excited to have her figure signed, because there's a lot of people out there that 
aren't going to have a Stacy sign because she doesn't really do meet and greet appearances. She doesn't really sign a lot of things, so this is definitely a little bit of a cool, rare piece to have. So I'm happy about that. Let's see. Ooh, this one right here, guys, I'm actually really excited to have. We got the Ruthless Aggression Tori Wilson. Love the paint, the pink paint marker on this. She's got Chloe with her. We do have this figure loose as well. But man, these Ruthless Aggressions, what a great line. And I can't wait to get my Eric Bischoff signed this weekend at the Wrestling Classic 4. But this just looks so good. Mint on card. So happy about that. And we're gonna save the we're gonna save these four for last because man these I can't wait to show you these last four. Put those to the side. And now we got some big box sets. You guys already know. Jurassic Express. Whoop. Hold up. There it is, Luchasaurus. We got the variant right there signed. Jungle Boy. Now up. Oh, whoa. Woohoo. There we go. Now we just need to get Jack Perry to sign this here. So we're going to put that to the side. This was like one of the first AEW like ringside collectible exclusives. And you open up this one right here. Whoop. We have the regular variant right there with Jungle Boy holding up, or Luchasaurus holding up Jungle Boy. Got that signed by him, which I really like. So now I really hope that Jack Perry, he comes to one of these events soon because I'd love to have this completed. And we do have a couple more figures in the wagon. We also got WWE Elite and Series 90, Mustafa Ali as well. This is the Retribution gear. I just love Mustafa Ali. I've always been a big fan of his work, so I had to pick up both of the two figures that I got signed because, man, I love Mustafa. And Ali we trust. Let's see here. And our last figure... Before we get into some of the really good figures, we got Platinum Max. We got Max Caster's signature on his new AEW Unrivaled Series 14 figure. Absolutely love the signature here. Now I just really need to meet Anthony Bowens again and Daddy Ass, and we need to just get those signed. But so happy to have that Platinum signed finally. But now let's get into some of the Grails. And, oh man, I never thought I was going to be able to find these in the condition that I found them. It was a grind. And starting things off here, we got the Jack Pacific Limited Edition box. Dawn Marie in her Halloween costume here. Of course, we got this PSA here. And, man, the, looking at the back of some of these boxes, they just bring me back. But I absolutely love the way that these are. They're small, and they're just, they're rare, too. So I really like that. And Jack Pacific, obviously, that's the figures I grew up collecting. So it definitely has an extra special place in my heart. So I'm very excited about having that. Don Marie, let's see here. We're going to put that right there with the card. And our next box limited figure we got signed, we got Tori Wilson right there. And I love the orange paint marker on this one. It just looks great with the main event box that we do get here. Whoop. And then there's more older figures that you can collect from back in the day. But absolutely love this Tori Wilson here. Such a great figure. Which, right now, I have them in these little containers to protect them. Because I have ordered some custom boxes that I can hang these figures up eventually when I do get that. They will be coming out of here. But for now, we're going to be keeping these divas inside this little tote right here. <laughs> and moving on now to the last two box limited figures we got here. Oh, man. And our first one we got here, we got the main event, Stacy Cabler. Jack specific figure signed. Also PSA 8 as well. Love the pink signature that's on here. Does look really freaking good. I just love the way that these look in the box. It's not going to take up as much room in the studio. 
And definitely brings me back to the good old days. Alright, we're gonna put that to the side. And last but not least, this is the figure I was struggling to find for the last couple of months. And I actually really got lucky, I think it was like two weeks before the big event in New York. We got the box limited edition Mickey James figure signed. Love the paint, the pink paint marker here. Of course, we got it PSA'd. This is one Jack Pacific figure I never had in my collection. I might have to pick this one loose eventually, but this is just a great overall figure. Can't believe I actually found this for a very good price. And I'm so happy to get the sign because Mickey, she's my girl. She is my favorite women's wrestler of all time. A lot of people, their favorites are Trish Stratus, Lita. Mine was always Mickey James. So I absolutely love that so freaking much. But we're going to put that to the side here. And we're going to put them right back in here until we get our custom boxes for these. When eventually we can hang these up. But guys, that was everything I picked up at the big event New York. Let me know in the comment section below your favorite item that I picked up during this event or something I got signed. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button now. If you're not a best one yet already, subscribe, turn on the post notifications right now. New videos are coming out every day. We got so much videos in the vault ready to just come out because the grind is real. The link's down in the description below. You can go follow me over on my social medias and my other YouTube channel, We Are Wrestling. All the links down below if you want to check out the full vlog of my meet and greet experiences and just my adventure. The Big Event New York vlog is up on the We Are Wrestling YouTube channel, so there's a good reason for you to go subscribe over there. But of course, to all the We Are Wrestling maniacs out there worldwide, we are taking over. Peace.